Good morning. Sharing is caring, which is why I have gifted Nick my cold. Thanks, babe. I'm so appreciative of that. And so generally any time an illness gets into my system, then it attacks my throat first. Well, if I sound particularly dulcet slash sexy today, then that would be the main reason why it's gone for my throat first. And now it's going to give me a lovely head cold from here on in. So I really, really appreciate this wonderful present that I've been longing for since I'm... we started traveling. I'm so generous and I get to hear these sexy Dosset tones. Exactly. But for that reason, we are going to take it easy over the next few days. We're going to head to like a beach or pool club today mm -hmm. and just relax. Maybe have some like smoothie bowls to get some nutrients into you. Need my vitamins. <laughs> so that might make for a little bit of a boring vlog, but... Hopefully we have something to show you. Yep, and to be honest with you, the beaches around here are stunning, so any footage we should be able to get of that should be lovely for you to see too. Feeling, babe? Um, definitely still ill, but it feels like this was the sort of R and R that I really wanted to have, so it's worked out pretty well. Yeah, all we did today was lay on loungers by the beach. You listen to podcasts and audiobooks, and I watch YouTube videos and listen to podcasts. And I think we're going to head out. We're gonna go back to the hotel, have a shower, and then go for an early dinner at the night market again. That is technically meant to be a karaoke night on, but obviously because I'm ill, then my voice is not best, so I'm not gonna partake this time. But there will be a next time, I'm sure. In another country. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> As mentioned, we've come to the night market again, and we've gone for five different skewers this time because we're like, we have to try it all. So we've got beef, chicken, which is totally mixed because I don't eat chicken. We have calamari, we have marlin, which is going to be super epic, and then we went for the tuna again because it was so amazing. Good morning. Our original plan for today was to go across to the west side of the island, and that was going to be about a 27 minute walk. But unfortunately, Nick is feeling worse today. So our plans have changed. And I remember when I was sick while we were in Uluwatu, the second day was definitely the worst. So I'm not entirely surprised. Yep, I feel worse and more useless today. So that's really helpful. But the good news is it does definitely open itself up to enjoying another fantastic beach day. So that's basically the plan. We're sorry that it's not going to be any different from yesterday's footage, but certainly it will give you another opportunity to enjoy the stunning views from these absolutely gorgeous islands. 
For anyone who's looking to come here, just know that Gili T is an absolutely tiny island. It is two kilometers wide and three kilometers long. So it is very walkable, which is why that was our plan today, was to just walk across the island. It's actually so pedestrianized that really there's no motorized transport on here. Even if you are not up for walking, then the only thing that you can rent is bikes. And also there are horses and carriages for anything that is a little bit more heavy duty that needs to be transported around the island. So yeah, I guess like if you need to like go from your hotel to the port with your luggage or something and you don't want to walk it. Exactly. So yeah, it's a completely different speed and different way of living. And honestly, even if I wasn't ill, I would be loving this. Yeah, we would just be checking out different beaches all around the island as opposed to the beaches closest to our hotel. But this is definitely the perfect place to come and relax. Mm. So let's go relax. Just left the beach and are heading back to the hotel it kind of looks a little bit cloudy like it might dare i say rain so we figured we better get ahead of it but we just spent the whole day like we did yesterday vegging on lounge chairs watching videos listening to podcasts and audiobooks and eating nutritious food all in the hopes of getting nick to feel better soon I can confirm I'm feeling definitely better than I felt this morning, but that's worse than yesterday. So whether that's a genuine improvement, who knows, but hopefully with even more rest and recuperation, then I should be good. So we're just going to go back to the hotel and veg even more before we go out to dinner at a local warung. called Gado Gado and in the interest of full disclosure we came to this warung the first day that we got here and discovered this dish and it was incredible so we were like we have to come back so we can promote it and show you plus we want it to have it again. What it is is rice, tempeh, tofu, a hard-boiled egg, vegetables with the most incredible peanut sauce on top and if you mix it all together nothing can beat it. So the gado gado was fantastic with a little bit of added chili sauce and soy. It's just perfect. But I'm still feeling a little bit peckish, so I got this little crepe. This one is with banana and honey and cost under $2, which is an absolute bargain. But I think that's it for today, so I'm going to enjoy this. And until the next time, take care. And keep smiling. Nick and Rachel coming to you from the future. We realized that this is the last video that's going to be going up before Christmas. So we wanted to take an opportunity to wish you all, no matter where you are, no matter who you're celebrating with, a very happy holidays from the pair of us. We are clearly no longer in Bali, but I'm sure wherever we are in the world that we are having a wonderful holiday season and we'll probably be doing a lot of video chatting with our friends and family. And we hope that you are doing something very similar. We'll catch up with you on Boxing Day, so for those who don't celebrate that, that's the 26th of December. But until next time, take care. And keep smiling.